start. Hey everyone, Digital David here today. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Deal Dig Robot Vacuum Cleaner. This is a smart Wi-Fi vacuum cleaner. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see how it comes packaged too in a nice and simple retail box with some technical information on this side and some more product information on the other side. It works on iOS or Android devices and is compatible with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see we have two user manuals right here. One is in English with step-by-step -step setup instructions walking you through the remote controls, all the parts, all the accessories, and everything you need to know about setting up the vacuum cleaner with the Deal Dig app and linking it with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. We also have an identical guide right here in multiple languages, walking through everything in the previous user manual. Then you can see we have our side cleaning brushes right here, two yellow, two white. We have our remote control. It does need two AAA batteries to install right there. They are not included. If you want to use the remote control, you can see all the buttons we have right here to control the vacuum and all of its settings. Don't forget, we do have a mobile app you can use with your smartphone. Then you can see we have a cleaning brush and tool right here for the vacuum. We have our charging base and stand right here. There's the charging contacts. There's where you plug in the included power supply. You can see the grip feet on the bottom of it. Then we have your power supply right here. We have your US plug version and we have your European plug version as well. So they give us two adapters. Then we have our filter right here and the vacuum cleaner itself. Now let's look at the robot vacuum in more detail. So at the top of the vacuum cleaner, you can see the Deal Dig logo and branding. We have our power button and you can see our front side bumper with built-in IR sensors. Now let's go ahead, let's flip it over to the back side so you guys can see our omnidirectional wheel, our charging contacts. We have our battery cover right here with more product information on it. You can see we have our left side brush in white, clearly marked with an L, and then we have our right side brush, clearly marked with an R, and it's yellow color-coded. Then you can see we have QR codes at the bottom for us and special instructions if you're gonna be using this on a loft with stairs and how to properly set everything up. You can see our spring-loaded wheels right here. We have our main brush, and then we have our 600 milliliter dust box right here. Now we can flip it over to this side. So you can see our lever to release that right there and then pull it out. We can look at this side too and you can see we have our power button and our charging port for the vacuum cleaner. Then we can look at the front bumper right here with the IR sensors. And again, you can see we can push that bumper in and we can rotate it all around to the other side as well. And you can see the movement for the bumper right there. And while we have it this way, Check out those wheels again. 15 millimeters of clearance for different terrain from like a hard floor to a rug. And then we're back to the back side with that release cover. Now we're ready to install the side brushes. They're clearly labeled for you. They're color coded. Left is marked L and it's white. And right is yellow and it's marked with the R's. So line everything up and just gently push them on in place like so. We can do the same for the other side right there and they just snap into place and now they're ready to start brushing for you when you're operating the vacuum cleaner. Now we're ready to remove the dust box, push the lever and then gently pull it out. You can see at the top of the box, we have our cleaning instructions and care for it. You can actually wash this box out with water and the basic filter as well, but use the included cleaning brush to clean out the high efficiency filter. So use the brush, not water for this filter. And it just opens up to reveal everything inside right here. So if you want to go ahead, you can pop this out too, and then you can access everything in here to give it a proper clean. And then you can just push that right back in place. So it just snaps in, make sure all the sides are snapped back in. And we can look at it from this side too. We can pull it out so you can access the high efficiency filter and then the basic filter 
underneath. And then they do give us the extra replacements. Let everything dry out if you get it wet in the sun, give it some time, then you can put it back in and start using your vacuum cleaner again. So the robot vacuum cleaner can be operated with the included remote control. You can see we have our power button, we have our display screen, we have our smart cleaning button, and we have our return to home auto charging right there. Then we have our directional arrows and our play pause button. The up arrow is your forward or plus button. At the standby mode, press this button to continue moving forward and release it to return to the standby mode. At the scheduled starting mode or the clock setting mode, press this button to increase the number. Then we have our backwards or minus button right here. At the standby mode, press this button to continue moving backwards and release it to return to the standby mode. At the schedule setting mode or the clock setting mode, press this button to decrease the number. Then we have our left arrow right here. At the standby mode, press this button to continue turning left and release it to return to the standby mode. At the schedule setting mode, or the clock setting mode, press this button to switch from minute to hour, that's the left arrow. Then we have our right arrow right here. At the standby mode, press this button to continue turning right and release it to return to standby mode. At the scheduling setting mode or the clock setting mode, press this button to switch from hour to minute. Then we have our play pause button, it's our confirm button. During operation, press this button to stop the robot and it will still work at the pause. At the schedule setting or the clock setting mode, press this button to save the settings. Then you can see we have our suction settings right here. At any cleaning mode, press this button to adjust the suction power. Then we have our clock settings button right here. Press this button to enter the clock settings mode and press the confirm button to exit. You can press that, then confirm play pause to exit. Then you can see we got our edge cleaning button. Press this button to enter the edge cleaning mode. And then you can see we have our display schedule time right there. And then we have our display clock time right here. So display clock time, then we have our display schedule time. And on the back side, don't forget, we need two AAA batteries to be able to power and use the remote control. So now I have two AAA batteries installed in the remote control. I went ahead, I turned the robot vacuum cleaner on right here. We could plug it in to charge it directly, but I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and activate it to charge on the charging base. So I have the charging base plugged in as well too, powered and ready to go. So now on the remote control, let's go ahead, let's push the return to home charging button and let's see if it will make contact and start charging itself up for our first use. Recharging mode. So it's in recharging mode. It's finding the base right now. There we go, charging just started. It will take between four and five hours to fully charge the vacuum cleaner and you'll have 120 minutes of battery life. Now let's go ahead, let's let it charge up, then let's try it out. So now go ahead and download the Deal Dig app on iOS or Android devices. Just search your app store for Deal Dig, get it downloaded. Once you have it downloaded, you'll be prompted to sign in or create an account. So once you sign in or create your account, you'll be at this home screen where we need to add a new device. So you can see we have a big orange button at the center of the screen that says add a device that we can select. So go ahead, select that. Now we need to scan a QR code on the device or package. So let's go ahead, let's flip the vacuum over. We have our QR code right here that we can go ahead and we can line up right there with our mobile device. Now I'm gonna go ahead, please follow the instructions. So we need to turn on the power supply switch. So you can see that right here on the device. We need to flip that switch on, so we currently have it in the on position. So once you do that, go ahead, select next. Now we need to connect to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Currently this only supports 2.4 gigahertz networks, so refer to your router's manual if you have any questions about which type of network you're on. So identify your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network, enter your password, then select next. Now it's ready for deployment. So we need to push the touch button on here, the clean button for three to five seconds, and then we can confirm activation. Network. So there we go. Now we can release it. Let's select confirm. Now it's gonna work on connecting and setting up the device for us. So there we go guys, setup was successful. It took less than a minute. Let's select confirm. Connection successful, now we can select finish. 
Now we're gonna be able to view our device right here. So there it is, guys. We can add multiple devices if you want. In this case, we only have one robot vacuum set up. So now from this menu, we can go out, we can select it, and we can see all of our options right here. So right here on the center of the screen, you can see we have our cleaning area, remaining power, and cleaning time. Then we have our options for cleaning at the bottom. Smart clean, spot clean, edge clean, quiet mode. We have our pause stop button. Then we can swipe over and then we can return to home with the charge. And then we can also select direction key for manual control. So let's go ahead, let's try out some of those features. So the first mode we're gonna look at is the recharging mode. So go ahead, you can select the battery charge icon on the mobile app and it will initiate the vacuum cleaner to return to the home base to charge. So let's push that right now. Recharging. There we go, it's looking around. And also, check that out. It's smart enough not to go off the edge. So it's great we can see that feature right there too. It can sense the edge. So if it's coming up to a stairwell or a stair, it won't fall off. It's smart enough to sense that. And look at that, it's finding the home base right away for us down here in the studio. Then it drives right up and charges itself. There we go, it will even tell us it's charging. So that works great. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the direction key command. So go ahead, select that option in the bottom right hand corner for full manual control using arrow keys. So we can control the vacuum right now just by pushing the arrow in the direction we want it to go. So here we go, we're holding it straight and then we let go and it stops. Now we can turn it. So you can see we can rotate it all the way around. We can turn it the other way too. Just let go when you want, it's very responsive. We can go backwards a little bit right there. And now we can go forward. You can see it's smart enough not to drive off the table. So here we go. And then it stops automatically. So you can see I'm trying to drive forward and it won't let me. Still have my finger down on the app. So it's smart enough to know right there. And again, we can just drive it around and clean whatever we want. Very smart vacuum. Now we can drive it into myself. You can see it hits right there and then it stops. So it's smart enough with that built-in bumper too to stop going forward. Now let's try out some more of the modes. So in the bottom left hand corner of the app, we have our smart cleaning mode. Let's go ahead, let's push that right now. It's gonna activate the robot vacuum. My dog Doug is intrigued by the vacuum as well. So you can see it's automatically going through the house and navigating on its own. It's gonna bump into objects and then redirect itself depending on what it encounters. You can see it moving around right there. The sensors help it navigate. It can actually make its way through our kitchen table as well too. It's actually narrow enough that it can go through the legs to help clean up some of the hair and fur that gets caught on our wood floors from my dog, Doug. You can see he's still in the shot right now. He's not sure what's going on, but he's gotten used to the vacuum cleaner. And you can see it's still going on its own right now. Let's see if it scares him. Okay, it's turning around. There it is. Battling it out with Doug. So you can see it working its way through those obstacles right there. Air duct, piece of furniture, the trim and the baseboards. So it's coming right up to the chair. You can see it just turned directions. Moving along right now at its own pace and speed. And it will do this until its battery is depleted enough where it's smart enough to return back to your home base so it can clean a good majority of your house on one charge and it can last a long time. So there we go. Let's see if it makes it under the chair. So close. There we go. Look at that. Under the chair right there, picking up some debris under the table for us, cleaning up all that dog hair. So in the bottom left hand corner, the second option in we have is spot cleaning mode. That's gonna do a six point clean for us in any given spot. It's gonna work its way out from the center. So let's push that now and watch it do its cleaning. Six point so you can see it's working its way around an imaginary circle right there, cleaning that one spot up for us.
moving its way further and further out in a circular motion. Now it's working its way back. in that nice big sweeping circular motion. You can see it's still in action, trying to make its way back to the original starting point. The circle's getting tighter and tighter now. There we go, it just finished spot cleaning. So the next cleaning mode we have is edge clean. It's exactly what it sounds like. The vacuum cleaner will find the edge of a room and it will only clean along the perimeter and that edge. So let's activate it now. So it just said border cleaning mode and now it's gonna find the border. So there we go, it just found the border and now it's gonna clean all along that edge. Moving all around the room just at that edge and border. So depending on the speed and angle of the vacuum cleaner, you can make it over a wood threshold like you see right here that's very steep. A lot of times if the vacuum's gonna hit it head on, it's gonna trigger the bumper and it's gonna stop it. But if you come at a slight angle and at a good rate of speed, you're typically able to make it over and back. So let's go ahead, let's try that right now. So here we go. It just climbed over the threshold, which is very impressive. And now let's bring it back. Let's see if we can make it back over the threshold with no issues at all. So my house is predominantly wood flooring and this vacuum cleaner does a great job on the wood floors. Doesn't have any issues at all. I brought a couple mats out here too that are around my house that it is able to vacuum on to show you guys the two differences. We have a thinner mat on the right and a thicker memory foam mat on the left. Let's show you that first mat on the right as it dries up it. So you can see we're driving right now. No issues. It did pull up the mat a little bit right there. That's pretty normal. Every once in a while it will do that. Sometimes it will get stuck when it pulls up the mat like that. But in this case, it's able to go across it just fine. We can turn it and then we can go back off the mat as well. Vacuuming it just fine. Now we can make our way to the other one. So we might need some more speed and a better angle. And this one's thicker, so a lot of times it can get stuck on the front when it triggers the front bumper. But in this case, we were able to get up just fine. Now you can see we can turn, do some cleaning and move along the mat pretty freely and easily. Turning around right here so you can see we're turning around. It's a thick mat and then we can come right back off. Same thing. Every once in a while it may get stuck or it just won't make it up because it triggers the front bumper. But in this case, we're not having any issues right there driving along and cleaning our big mat. Now I wanna show you guys the vacuum cleaner working on this big rug that we have in our house. And this is one of my favorite features. Since it is pretty small, it can actually clean under this dresser. So watch as it navigates across the rug. It'll actually make its way under the dresser too. It can clean under there, which is fun. And then it can make its way right back out. And the rug doesn't go the whole way under there. So it's actually able to climb back up on this rug. It's a pretty thin rug. We got it on Amazon, I actually reviewed it in another one of my videos. So be sure to go ahead and check that out if interested. I'll try to remember to link it below in this video too. But it's doing a great job on this area rug for us. And like I said, it's fun to see it go under the dresser and it can do its cleaning down there. No issues at all. We can turn it, we can do some more cleaning and then come right back out. So it is pretty small guys which is nice, it can get under some pieces of furniture, maybe even your bed too, depending on what you might have in the way, but it's cleaning on this rug, no issues. So now I have the vacuum cleaner on a thick shag rug right here. You can see how it operates as I move it around. It can actually move decently well. Reverse doesn't work as good. You can see it's really struggling with reverse, but it actually moves forward decently. And then we can occasionally get some good turns out of it too. But you can tell it definitely struggles more on the shag rug with reverse. See right there, it's really having a hard time. But it can still turn 
move around. I have not had any success having my vacuum cleaner make it up here to transition from the wood floor to the shag rug. It is able to make it off the shag rug and onto the wood floor, but unfortunately in my house, the shag rug is just too thick. It can't make it up there. It just triggers the bumper every time, which is fine. But if you did want to vacuum your shag rug, you could manually do it with this vacuum cleaner by placing it on there. And then you just have to be patient with it because it's just not made for that thick of material. So it can drive forward just fine. But as you could see earlier, we're just not able to back up that easily and it struggles sometimes with turning. So now guys, let's go ahead. I let the vacuum run one night to vacuum our house and clean it. So I wanted to show you guys actual results from my house using just this vacuum cleaner. So let me go ahead, let me pull out the tray. I'm really embarrassed to show you guys this because it's filthy and disgusting. So check that out. Really fine dirt and dust right here in the filter that we need to clean out. Look at all the hair that it got. Now guys, I let this run every night and this is what it looks like every time in the morning, every day. So you can see it does really well with hair from your pets, but we can also get some pretty big particles as well in there, dirt, dust, sticks. Just a lot of debris mixed in, if you can see all that. Tons of hair, a lot of other particles and dirt as well. So check out that big guy that we got in there too. So a lot of different items that you can see collected through our house. We got some clippings of grass, just really gross stuff that it's able to pick up. And that's just one night vacuuming. I get this every time I vacuum, which is just truly amazing. So from our device settings page right here, you can see we can actually change our settings by clicking those three dots. You can see we can change the name, we can view our schedule, we can manage the device, check for updates and view our model number. We can also delete the device if we want. So let's select the schedule tab. You can see currently I have two schedules already set up every day at 2300, so 11 p.m. The vacuum cleaner comes on and then I currently have it off right now, but every day at four o'clock, so 4 a.m. in the morning, the vacuum cleaner could come on and clean. I'd space them four or five hours apart to give it enough time to charge back up for you. So we can select one of those schedules. It's gonna come on at that time, so you can choose the time. And then when you want it to repeat, once, every day, weekdays, weekend, or self-defined. What's nice about this, hit save, you're all set, ready to go. Then you never have to get into the mobile app. Again, once you have your vacuum cleaner app set up, so that's really nice guys. Just do it once and forget about it. So the Deal Dig Robot Vac also works with Amazon Alexa. It's very easy to set up. So on your mobile device, go ahead, open up your Alexa app. In the top left-hand corner, select the menu. It's the fifth option up from the bottom, skills and games. Go ahead, select that. Then we need to search for the Deal Dig app. So type in Deal Dig, hit search. It will be the first result. Go ahead, select that. Now at this step, you will have to select enable skill. R says disable skill because we already have the skill set up. Once you select enable skill, it will take you to a screen to sign in with your deal dig credentials to authorize Amazon Alexa to be able to control the vacuum cleaner. Then you can see the two commands that we have. We can have Alexa turn it on and turn it off. So that's really cool guys. Now let's go ahead and let's try out those commands. Hey Alexa, turn on robot. So there we go, Alexa just turned it on for us. You can see the robot working right here. Hey Alexa, turn off robot. So there we go, Alexa just turned off the robot for us and now you can see it's activating it to recharge mode. So it's gonna find its way home now and recharge for us. There we go, it works great. So I've been using this vacuum cleaner now for two weeks and I'm excited to share my findings and my experience with you guys. If you're in the market for a robot vacuum cleaner, please, please, please do yourself a favor. Make sure you get one that has smart controls like this one. You're definitely going to want to have those features with your robot vac. There's nothing wrong using the included remote control, but it's just not as easy as using the app to set your schedule and to initiate all the different cleaning modes. That being said, it's really easy to control without either the remote or the mobile app. With the power button right here, you can just push it to turn it on and then push it one more time to activate the smart cleaning mode. Don't forget, once the battery gets low enough, it will automatically make its way back home for you. So please, please, please go ahead. Make sure you get one that has smart functionality. 
Other than that, after using this vacuum cleaner, I'd say it's just good enough. It's not gonna replace your main handheld vacuum cleaner. They're just not that powerful and they don't last that long to do that intensive of a clean for you. For us specifically with all of our wood floors and our dog's hair, this has been awesome. We're very happy to have this vacuum cleaner. Our house looks way better because this is working every night while we're asleep and it does a good enough job picking up the essential things off the ground for us. I would like to see a bigger bay at the bottom so this can hold more stuff so you don't have to empty it as often, but that's a complaint I have for every robot vacuum cleaner. Just because of their small size and form factor, there's not much you can do about that. Other than that though, in regards to its smartness, whatever you wanna call it, it does have some trouble making it home sometimes. I've noticed at nighttime, specifically for some reason, I tend to wake up in the morning and I see that it has not made it back to its home base. There's a lot of reasons for that. Sometimes it gets caught on power cords. Sometimes it gets caught on rugs. Other times it's stuck under a dresser. I've also seen it stuck in my air vents a couple of times. We have an older house with big square air vents. So I think just the wheels get stuck on there. And then a couple of times I've seen it with a full battery or 80% battery just stuck in the middle of my living room for no apparent reason. Other times it makes it back home and you get super excited to see that in the morning. I'd say I'm averaging less than 50% of the time this makes it home and charging in the morning for me and I have to play the game, find my vacuum cleaner. So I'd like to see an improvement in that with the technology and the communication. One time specifically, it stands out to me. I was watching it return to home when I was playing around with it and the base was over here, my kitchen table was here and the vacuum cleaner was here and it kept trying to go straight to it like it locked on and had a beeline for it but obviously the table was in the way. So it would just go under the chair, turn around, keep turning, 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 turning. Then it made me laugh, it would go the other way, drive into my bathroom, turn around in there and come back to the same spot. It did this for over an hour, I kid you not, for over an hour and then randomly, just like that, it made its way home with no issues at all. So, you know, it's just kind of a guessing game on what the vacuum is thinking. But for me specifically and my wife, we're so happy to have it and at this price point, I just think there's only so much you can expect and I'd say it's good enough. It's not great, but it's good enough, especially for all the other features that you get with it. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.